Hey everyone. So in this video I came across a person, my friend on Facebook called Alison and she just made a post saying um, what do you do, how do you deal with people who are triggers in your life? So um, if you can't escape from them, like let's say you can't get distance from them, what do you do? There's always one person who's like they're triggering you and you can't, you can't necessarily get away. And any suggestions from anyone? And so this video I want to talk about what do you do? How do you handle that person or people who trigger you the most in life? And what I, I want to share my thoughts and what I feel and think is necessary is to one, be thankful that they're here because usually we think they're a big pain in the ass and big problem in our life. And yeah, on, on the physical level, that's true. On the spiritual level, they're a blessing and a gift. Your higher self or you have brought them to you or made a soul contact with them or whatever your belief is. They're there and in my opinion they're there for a good reason. They're to help crack open your shell, your hardened blocked parts, your ego if you want to call it that. And to help you to expand to a new level. So for me they're like God, like, like they're, God they're like source or God messengers. They're, they're there to help you. So if you can switch to gratitude and see where you can learn. So here, here's what I'm going to say now. How can I learn? Grow, heal, expand. Okay. How can I hurt, learn, grow, heal and expand? So what are they there to teach me? Sometimes they're there to teach us boundaries. To tell them to shove off. Like not, 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 not to be mean at all. But basically you have a sense of to help us to love ourselves better more respect and love for ourselves to, to put up boundaries to teach them how to treat us to learn how to say no to, to, to communicate better um, to, to, to develop and live by a sense of self-worth and self-deserving we deserve and worthy of peace and good behavior towards us and if someone doesn't treat us nice then we kick them out of our life kick them out of our experiences at the end of the day why should we choose horrible things or rubbish or toxins in our life, be it physically or else relationships? Why? We do that because of our hurts in the past, our conditioning. So we want to like break out of the idea that we're not good enough or worthy and step into the idea that we are through dismantling and investigating our old beliefs that limit us. Like we're not good enough, we're not pretty enough, we don't, we're not worthy, we don't deserve love, we're not ready for a relationship, people will leave us. Um... All, all that type of thing so also we also want to like look at our own behavior our own life and our own actions and reactions overall in life for the optimal life and in the relationship with the person who triggers us so what are we not doing with this person that we could or should be if we want an optimal relationship for us all and what are we doing that's negatively contributing? So we want to look at those two factors. What are we not doing that's, that would be brilliant? And what are we doing that's crap, really contributing negatively? So, okay, guys, this this spills into our past now, our unresolved, heal, unhealed wounds and traumas, our shadow. That's because it's unresolved and undealt with stuff, okay, emotions and experiences from our past. It follows us like a shadow, and that's why it's called a shadow. It's there, and it's unresolved. It's not left us. We're still hanging on in our energy field, our energy field, because, because why? Because we haven't dealt with it. We haven't sat down and been present with our emotions. Like usually, we eat to suppress and numb our feelings. We ha we, we 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 watch porn. We have sex. We we masturbate. We we eat. <laughs> That's probably the biggest socially acceptable and socially encouraged drug and bad habit. We we watch television. We numb ourselves with like mindless, mindless, senseless, like rubbish through certain medias, okay? So we also might sleep. Some people oversleep to stay in bed all day. Like take drugs. That's a huge one, of course, too. Alcohol or various different drugs. So everyone, we want to clean up our act and clean up our life and lighten our diet. And when we do that, we, we it's much harder to hide. Like, you never want to hide or distract, avoid or suppress 
our emotions. We want to deal with stuff that's important to deal with so it doesn't become heavy and bog us down and stress us out. So do the things that are most important to you in life. Things that you should have been doing, you haven't been doing. Try and face them and tackle them. That that applies for me in my life. I have some things I need to do and they're starting to creep up on me a little bit. So everything I'm talking about in this video, I've had experience in the past with for sure. Especially the emotional healing and definitely especially also the relationships. So like... You teach people how to treat you by what you by what you say no to, by what you allow, by what you by how you if you leave or not, by what you enforce and by what you re reinforce. So basically, you teach people always how to treat you. All I want to stay, say is look at some of my other videos. Like check in my playlist below, okay? Maybe I can put a playlist uh, somewhere in the car, in the little card, the little things in the video here, um, or at the end of the video, or also underneath. Check in my empowered, like my relationships playlist. It's called something like empowered, pure, organic, beautiful relationships, something like that. And you can see my video called "How to Practice High Level Self Love." <coughs> And that's a really good one. And also how to actually practice self-love is another fantastic one. Um, at the end of the day, these videos and this information will be life-changing. So I really recommend dedicating some time and learning. You know, back in the day, I used to learn from audiobooks and books. And these days, I teach through YouTube videos primarily. And I like learning through video more than books, personally speaking. But I've learned a lot through books. I actually don't own any books. Just, just a little bit of personal, interesting information. Nothing against books, but everybody's different, and that's just the way I am, really. So, so that's each to their own. Um, so, basically speaking, you want this person who is triggering you a lot in life is there to help you to transcend, move up a level, and upgrade like a computer system. Windows five, Windows six, Windows seven, Windows eight, <laughs> Mac, Mac four, Mac seven, whatever. So. Don't hold a big grudge or resentment to them. Take responsibility is essential. Take responsibility for your actions and inactions. And you're accepting things and keeping things going and not saying no or kicking things out. At the end of the day, I always say people, things, relationships. No, or people, things, or environments or places. But we choose and decide everything. So we, we've co-created our life. We've chosen so whatever you've got, you're choosing it. So if you want to, including your body, if you want a different body or a different life or a different place to live or a different work or a different environment, a different relationship, manifest it. Don't, sure, pray to God, source, universe, all that is, etc. But at the end of the day, there's a lovely quotation and I like it a lot. You do your half and God or source of the universe and your spirit guides will help you to do the other half. So you need to do stuff. You can't win the lotto without buying a lotto ticket by praying in your room. <laughs> so I just want to encourage you all to just to be real with your emotions to be real with your life and to accept yourself where you are in life and don't judge yourself and um, don't we all make mistakes and mistakes are a beautiful way to learn and that's how we learn in life Einstein said something like there's no knowledge other than experience something like that he was emphasizing the importance of having experience in life so having first hand experience will was is worth more than reading a thousand books in many ways, you know? So, yeah. And another thing, guys, by changing ourselves and not blaming the other person, we will manifest a new life with the person who triggers us the most or without them. Part of the lesson sometimes is to say no and to kick them out of our life by leaving or else saying things before we leave too. Running out the door or like just like leaving, you know. There's no point in keeping up with bad stuff, everybody. Just leave. Trust, pray, seek support, community, family, friends. And don't stick in really bad or abusive, destructive places or for you or relationships. Or environments or with really bad habits. Seek help from people like myself. There's hotlines. There's always people to support you, so be creative and step outside of your box that you're used to and do something that's good for you. 
be creative and seek help and support and positive um, information that's empowering. Um, and just know if someone's there treating you bad for a long time, instead of getting angry at them, why don't you get angry at yourself for putting up with it and take responsibility for putting up with it and then leave? And, you know, that can be the biggest lesson of all sometimes. But if it's your mum or something and you can't leave, you can obviously get distance. But for me, with that, just like talk strong, stand in your power. No one's above you, no one's below you. We're all forest gumps, we're all sacred, holy jokers or fools we're all innocent animals we're all on a level of equality and nobody is above you nobody guru i don't i don't dig gurus to be honest much to be honest too much image generally too much label too much worshiping is ridiculous we should never worship or look up to somebody too much we should stand in our own power and look up to ourselves, everybody. We should revere and honor and bloody be on our own feet to ourselves. That's what even Jesus apparently said, if he's true. You can do anything I can do and even more. So stop idolizing somebody else and putting yourself down in the process. Okay? I don't idolize anybody. I love certain people, like maybe Gandhi, Martin Luther King... So, some of all of them and Mother Teresa, Peace Pilgrim, some of a lot, like, some of a lot of people, my mom, my, my best, like, best friends, like, but in no way is it a sense that they're better than me, and I'm living in no way a sense that I'm better than anybody, so that's like the fairest, best equality, we're all spiritually divine equals. So everyone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this video now, I hope it's been of help, and I hope you enjoy, um, it's a lovely day in here in Canada, so... Look after yourself, everybody. Look after yourself. Look after yourself. And seek one-to-one -one coaching with me below. Health, diet, and relationship. And life coaching. Please, check it out below. I'd love to work with you. It's my life passion. And subscribe and share the video, please. Leave a comment if you wish. Connect with me somehow or on Facebook also. I'm very busy there. And collaborate if you wish. And check out my Higher Self Herbs web shop below. Herbs, superfoods, enzymes and essential oils. Thanks for your valuable time, everyone. Time is ticking. Life is precious. Enjoy the day. Get out there and enjoy the day. Get some fresh air and move your body. And uh, time is ticking, everyone. So I suggest you to enjoy as much of the day as possible, every moment. And don't live in fear. Live in bloody... Live in not fear. Be the child. Set your innocent child loose and have fun. Be instinctual, but with mature integrity and honour of the samurai. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Lots of love.